No, and, uh, and I love that about your work. You know, we've known each other now a few years. <coughs> I've seen you at the castle many times. And uh, you're very inspiring to me. I mean, I sort of, I have a lot of friends who've used magic to overcome their demons, whatever they are. But you're a special case because you literally wear your biggest life challenge on your face. Mm -hmm. And it makes it so important and so difficult for you to show people what you're trying to communicate and get them to see past it. And I love watching you because those first couple of minutes, people don't know what to make of you. Mm -hmm. You know, they see you sit down, they see you, they're not sure what you're about. And as soon as you let them know your humanity, that you're okay with it, you make a couple jokes, that you're doing high level stuff, not just tricks that are pretty good for a guy who's been through a brain issue. Right. You're doing cutting edge, original material with stories about the things you're passionate about, the TV shows you love, Star Trek, interacting with people. You're flirty, you're mischievous. Yeah. As soon as you do that, you watch people look straight through you and see the magic. And it's just, it's 